Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode six. Today we have uh, Nick Piccinino. Nick? Gotta get those harmonics. Into, into the mic. Um, and uh, Noah Clark. We have Noah Clark. Hey, Noah Clark here. Yes. All right. Um, episode All six, right. the Sinister Six. There are now a Sinister Six amount of episodes you can go listen to on YouTube. Paige Campbell Show. Um... Guys, E3 was last week. It was great. It was. it was great, wasn't it? What was um? We'll go. We'll go around the room. What was your favorite announcement? It could be new, or it could just be, you know, something that was previously announced, but you liked more information on it. Um, Splatoon. <laughs> no, that's... Splatoon looked cool. It does. Um, they talked about it way too much. That was my issue. I mean, the more I think about it, the more I kind of want to play it. But no, that wasn't my wasn't my favorite announcement. My thing with Splatoon is like it looks like a lot of fun, but I hate online multiplayer. You know? Yeah, I feel like so that's, it's gonna be really a limited game. I would totally get into it if it was um. I would totally get into it if if you could do local multiplayer, but I don't know about online only. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it does look good. I I could definitely get into it. Uh, Nick. Yeah, you, you had a favorite. I announcement? have to say, I, I honestly, I only cared about the Nintendo part. That's fair. Because Ninta- I like Nintendo a lot. Oh, I, I love thought, Nintendo. Uh, I did think Splatoon looked cool. Mm-hmm. I thought Toad's Treasure Tracker looked yeah. cool. Treasure Tracker looked fun. It wasn't. It was a tough sell because at the beginning when they just showed the trailer, I was like, eh, don't yeah. know. But then like I watched the Nintendo Treehouse live and they showed the gameplay and it looked fun. The uh, gameplay looked fun. I'm pretty excited about the new Star Fox. That's oh, going to yeah. be coming out. Any of that that yet. was they I haven't sh- they didn't really show any of it. Apparently a few press people got to play it, but it's like so early like yeah. You know, early on like they don't have anything to show of it. All I'm but say- a few press people got to play it. All apparently. I'm saying is it so. better be like Star Fox Assault. Mario Maker. Better have, better have land battle. You like the land battle? The land battle's great. How about Mario Maker? Oh, I Mario Maker looked cool. great. No, but the thing that's interesting that you like land battle so much, and you know that's fine. But um, from what I've heard of that game, I didn't really play it. I played a little bit of it. But from what I've heard of that game, that's the part that people didn't like. People didn't like the land. Um, so it's interesting to me. But yeah, Mario Maker. Mario Maker looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I want to play it. One thing I really, really liked about Mario Maker is you can put it in the eight bit. But then yeah, yeah, yeah. you can switch it to yeah. the awesome. like modern it's Mario fantastic. U graphics. That's is it, so cool. Is it Wii U or is it 3DS? It's Wii U. Because, okay. Yeah. It'd be really cool if it was on 3DS. Well, yeah, I, I saw that it was. Like, you, you said 3DS, and I was like, really? But no, then I uh, I looked it up, and like the people at IGN that played it said they 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 like they played it. It looks cool. And they said it was Wii U. It um, yeah, it looks sweet. I want to play it. Um, 2015, unfortunately, yeah. for Mario Maker. It's Toad's Treasure Tracker is 2014. So I could get into that. Star Fox is probably like 16 or 17. That'll be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it looks awesome. Um, I guess Jacob's playing a Wii U now. Does oh, he, he got one? a Wii U? No, he said, um, he's, he, we were watching E3 together, and he said, um, if, if they announce Star Fox, I'm right. buying a Wii U. Right. I don't know that he's bought it yet, he but does. he, uh, they announced Star Fox, so he now has a reason. To any of you listeners out there, if you want to uh, give me a uh, Wii U, I c- I'm in need of one. Mm-hmm. It's a great console. I really recommend it. There's a lot of good stuff to play on it. You know, you got Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, great, Pikmin 3. Your old Wii games. Your old Wii games, classic. Yeah, I really want one, honestly. You should get one. It's good, especially when Smash comes out. I, I fe- Speaking I've... of Smash, we had some pretty cool Smash announcements mm-hmm. at E3. Um, the characters that got announced were, um, Nick, what you doing there? Nick, you gotta speak into the mic. It's a, uh, is it's candy of some sort? Is it's it? A throat, throat drop. It's a throat drop. Um, you like one? Might I might have one of those. It's they sound great. Well, they're all stuck together. Okay. It looks like you can pop me off. It's like when drop. you open a thank you a pack of gushers. Here, let me. All you get is all you get is, is oh, no, reds. And oh yeah. Stuck together. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what it is about the reds that make them stick together, <laughs> but they like to have they like to stick together. They sure do. Um, to what was I? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, Smash Bros. Oh yes. Okay. Um, there were three character announcements. Announcements at E3. Um, Palutena. Palutena. Um, Mii's Mii characters are now playable. Mm-hmm. And um, Pac-Man. Drum, drum roll. That's the big one. Yeah, you could do a drum roll. Give us a drum roll. Nick. 
Well, <laughs> nice. Pac-Man. Uh, uh, the Pac-Man. Keyboard's, keyboard's limiting. No, yeah, Pac-Man. Uh, I was hesitant at first. I it, was. D- it didn't sound like a cool announcement, but then I saw the trailer and I was sold. I wasn't expecting them to actually... Um, you know, give in and make Pac-Man, but yeah, the trailer. Makes yeah, the trailer really sold sweet. me. One one thing I like that they're doing a lot is instead of giving him just you know Pac-Man attacks, you know, mm-hmm. they're they're making him pretty much an ambassador for everything arcade. Yeah. So like he can shoot the ship from Galaga, and the Galaga will suck suck the person up, or like he can do the uh, little line from Mappy, and like when someone jumps on it, it'll fall and they'll they'll fall it's down. Great tribute. It's it's sweet. It's a great tribute. Like we said, uh, we talked about Paige and I talked about this earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, w- one reason we thought uh, held on hope that he might he might be announced is because of his final smash. It's pretty, yeah. it's oh, a pretty yeah. predictable oh, final smash. And they're doing it. Yeah. Um, he turns giant and he chases everybody, which is yeah. The only reason I really wanted him was because of his final smash. Spe- and speaking of Smash Bros, you guys played the demo. Oh yeah, <laughs> Nick and I went to Best Buy. We played the demo. Um, there were a lot of people there, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad there were actually, because even though we had to wait, it was a fun atmosphere to be in. So many intense fans there. There's yeah. this one guy who uh, drove from Rocky Mount, wherever that is. Rocky uh, Mountain. I don't, and know. He had, uh, I don't know where that is. He had two DSs with him, and he's playing uh-huh. both of both yeah. them. Yeah, I got like 50 street passes. That's like, awesome. I wish you can I was only there. get you can only get 10 at a time, and I kept clearing them, and I was kept <laughs> getting more. It was great. I haven't gotten many street passes lately. Mm. It's been rough. Yeah, well, we could street pass me and you. I think so. We should. Um, I'd like to, but yeah, it was great. Uh, Nick, you used Little Mac. Yeah. How did Little Mac feel? It felt great. Vic- victory. That's mm-hmm. all I can say. Yeah, Nick got first. Um, yeah, it was a timed battle. I don't know. I don't really like timed battles because yeah, I don't either. know how I'm doing. Because yeah. I think I got the most KOs, but I also got KO'd a few times. Oh, yeah. And so, but I, I had no idea how I was Who'd doing. You play as? I used Mega Man. Oh wow. And Mega Man was awesome. I, I loved Mega Man so much. So glad he's in there. But that's what I was thinking about because now that Pac-Man's been announced, all I can say is Nintendo won. Yeah. You know? It is the most surreal moment in gaming history Mm -hmm. because you can now have the four biggest video game icons on the same screen at the same time. You can have Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, and Pac-Man on the same screen under under the Nintendo um, umbrella. Pretty exciting. It's very exciting. They, They put a screenshot and it was just like the most surreal moment. Um. So yeah, I'm very excited about Smash Bros. The me characters I thought were interesting. Really? Yeah, because um, I wasn't sure how like I liked the idea of a me, but I wasn't sure how they were gonna do the um, like the attacks. You know, they're basically like breaking them up into like three different. You when you choose your me, you choose what type of fighter your me is gonna yeah, be. Yeah, I saw picks. So he can be like a brawler. Yeah. Or he can be a. Uh, I don't know, like a, a long shooter, distance type of thing. long distance, yeah, and it kind of gives them like the Mega Buster, or the Samus, the uh, thing. So yeah, that's interesting. I thought that was kind of interesting. Cool. I liked E3 a lot. Yeah. Um, were there any other Nintendo announcements or any announcements in general that got got your blood pumping? The um, I didn't watch. I haven't watched Sony yet, so mm. that w- that probably will get my blood pumping. But um, Sony, I don't want to spoil things for you since you haven't <laughs> watched it, but. The new Assassin's Creed looks cool. So oh yeah, it did. Um, I was, you know, I was hesitant about that too because, you know, Assassin's Creed, they're good games, but they're kind of all, the same. You know, they're annualized now. Um, but yeah, Assassin's Creed Unity looks sweet. It's set in the French Revolution. It looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. Um, the uh, Arkham Knight. They showed some more Arkham Knight, yeah. which looks awesome. Um, they also showed the Uncharted 4 trailer, mm-hmm. and the thing about the Uncharted Uncharted 4 <laughs> I'm farted, <laughs> nice. I said. Uh, the thing about the Uncharted 4 trailer is, um, it looks like it's gonna be the last Uncharted game. Well, wow. which I do I think it'll be the last Uncharted game ever? No, you know they'll probably like on the PlayStation 6 bring it back, but it looks like it'll be the last one for a while because if you haven't seen the trailer, have you? Not yet. It was Nathan Drake, and he was, like, laying there, and he looked a lot older than he did in the previous games. And he was, like, and it was, like, him and Sully talking in the background, and it was just him on the ground, like, you know, covered in, like, sweat. And he was, like, crawling toward his gun. And um, he was, like, oh, he's, like, oh, come on, Sully, I need your help one more time. And he's, like, all right, kid, I'll help you one last time. Oh, and then and then the logo came up, and it said Uncharted 4, A Thieves' End. Wow. So... Might be the last one for a while. <coughs> which not, not, not the last Naughty Dog masterpiece. Not the probably. last Naughty Dog game, for sure. They're making, you know, Last of Us 2, whatever. 
Um, Let me throw in a quick plug in the new Zelda trailer. Oh, oh that yeah. got me. Why, how did we forget about Zelda? Oh, my God. The new Zelda looked awesome. Yeah, it looked really cool. Yeah, man. I, uh, I'm interested about it. I liked what they announced that it's not going to be linear, which is cool. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Skyward Sword was great, but Skyward Sword is like, go here, go here, go here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it was like, in the original game, you could do the dungeons out of order. You know what I mean? And yeah. Could, and he said that when... Um, A.G. Aonuma, the guy that makes the Zelda games, came out and said that, like, when the switch to 3D happened, like, because the graphics were, because, like, they had technical limits, they had to do um, linear, you know what I mean? And they wanted to still do that open world where you didn't have to do them in order. And now that they have the Wii U, they can do it where you don't have to really play awesome. them in order. It looks sweet and it looks beautiful. It does. Yeah. Um, did, we, did, did you ever find out what the, uh, the 90 minute... Was it was the... some weird like shooter for the 3DS called Project Steam. Huh. It didn't look good, in my opinion. A lot of people were excited about it. It didn't oh, look very fun to me. One last uh, thing. Sorry. No, I you're just good. No, this is a conversational podcast. Conquer. Shout it out. Conquer. Oh, yeah. What was that? I kind of missed that announcement. I, um, I looked it up. It was, it was some some kind of, some game, but he's going to be a, a playable maybe a character. Playable character yeah. I love Conquer. Conquer's bad for a day. And then. They rebooted it, but the reboot was like the exact same game, just yeah. with higher graphics. But yeah, Conquer. <coughs> if they made a new Conquer, that would be insane. I would love that. Um, who's it? Rare makes Conquer, don't they? I think they did. Maybe. I, I think I, I think they did. Rare hasn't made something good in a while, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, obviously they made you know Banjo Kazooie, which is amazing. And I think, and they worked and, on Donkey Kongs on some of the yeah, Donkey the Kong countries. Yeah, the sixty four and stuff. Yeah. And then, and I think the Game Boy titles. Oh yeah. And then um. They made Viva Pinata, which I never played, but those there games, good. those oh, games yeah. are held in high regard. I forgot all about that. <coughs> and then, but the most recent thing they've made are like Connect Sports Adventures. So, well, you know. yeah, Connect, so they've they've Connect definitely Bowling fallen. Connect, fun. it's fun for four or five seconds. Fun party. Um, <laughs> Connect Massage Parlor. Connect, <laughs> I would like that. There's, it's it's just yeah. That sounds like a quality game. Yeah. Um, what else did they? Um, it was Bloodborne. They announced that. Um, which looked kind of cool. It's Demon Souls' spiritual successor. Mm -hmm. You know about Dark Souls, don't you? Yeah. Dark Souls is kind of like the spiritual successor to Demon Souls. Um, but Demon Souls was a PlayStation exclusive, and so they announced Bloodborne, and it kind of leaked. But they announced Bloodborne, and it's like a direct sequel to Demon Souls, That's which is cool. cool. Um, Quaid Curry, he <laughs> platinumed Demon Souls, wow. and like the whole thing about that is like the game's <laughs> super hard. So that's. That's a very impressive feat. Shout that's out. insane. I didn't know that. That's a shout out. Yeah, I was looking at his trophies because he added me as a friend. Yeah, that's a very yeah. impressive. Yeah. There are some games that like Platinum's not that impressive. That's very impressive. Yeah. Platinum them Demon Souls. I was thinking it would be funny if uh, Connect made a series of games uh, to of um, uh, sports and activities that aren't fun. You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? yeah. Connect curling or something. <laughs> yeah, or like. I would play a curling game in a heartbeat because there like aren't. They're any. just like house like household act like. Connect ironing pants. <laughs> or connect, connect fi <laughs> household chores. Connect finger painting. That's the thing. Like, things that people don't like to do in real life, like, become fun in video games. That's you know true. what I mean? Like, everyone hates paying their mortgage. <laughs> but then, like, Animal Crossing, everyone suddenly, like, oh, I gotta pay my mortgage. Yeah, so wait. excited. Uh, gotta dig, dig up fossils. Yeah. Uh, that'd be fun in real life. Actually. And murder. Yeah, I would and not so fun. And murder. Fossils. What? And murder. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's fun to murder people in games, but I don't know so much. I've never tried it in I real life. I have tried it. So, have you ever tried it, Nick? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer. It's, Very uh, prompt. It's um, really illegal and really bad. Yeah, it is It is pretty illegal. It is pretty illegal. Last time I checked, they might be working on that. I'd be trying so to let's change. Let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> we should get on that, solve that problem. JK. Get on that, bring it to our local senator. Pre yeah. JK. It's got to be pushed through the House, then it's got to be pushed <laughs> through the uh, Senate. Ah, uh, brother. And then the president, it, the president could veto it. So it's still, it's a, it's a long process. Here's your history lesson. You learn something every day. It's, a, it's not a history lesson, actually. It's a government, a government, government lesson. American, U.S. government. There's a difference. Ms. McLean, shout out. Um, <laughs> she did a good job teaching us. Um, Noah, do you have a topic for us? <coughs> All right, topic time. What is your guys' Oh, you do want to give me some music while I talk? Oh, about? yeah. Give a little intro. It'd be nice, actually. First time. Thank you. Thank you. What is your guys' favorite snack food? Junk snack? Food. Oh, wow. 
There's a lot of what? I like a lot of ones. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh uh, no no! I, I just the reason I said what was because that's a, such a hard question. Favorite mm. favorite that's the thing. slash best of all time. <sighs> There's a lot of good ones. I'm a big uh, Funyun guy. Oh Funyun! I like Funyuns a lot. I do like Funyuns. And the thing that's hard about Funyuns is like other snack foods kind of fill you up, but Funyuns don't at all. Yeah. So you can just like polish off a whole it's bag. It's dangerous. I got a time. I would say it's pretty dangerous to do that. Yeah. Well, see, the thing about snack foods is there's kind of subsets of snack foods. There's, like, chips, and then there's, like, cake, like snack cakes, you know? Right, right. And, like, dessert-type things. There's, like, munchies. cereal. Let's what, 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 talk strictly munchies here. Like, like I have to say uh, kettle cooked chips mm. are yeah. the best kinds Those of are good. chips. Those are good. Yeah, that's the best way to have chips, I would mm. say. Seriously. Doritos are good. Doritos, Doritos I, are I amazing, was a yeah. big Doritos guy when I was a kid. <laughs> Just, like, I would go to my grandma's and always ask if she had any. I don't know why, but I just remember that. But yeah, no, Doritos you were, have vivid were memories. <laughs> um, and uh, Chex Mix. Chex Mix is very Chex good. Chex it Chex doesn't Mix seem like great. it would be, but it's so yeah. good. Yeah. And just it's eat hard to put Chex down. Mix. Quaid Curry really likes Chex Mix. Doesn't shout out. Second shout out for mm-hmm. Quaid. Love it. We should get Quaid on the show. We. Um, I think we've talked about this. I would love to have Quaid on the show. During the holidays, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's become a tradition to have some homemade Chex Mix. Oh, uh, for you? At the Clark residence. Yeah. I've never <coughs> had that. Is it good? It, it is good. Is it's there really a difference? Well, y- in the taste, you know, there's the, the home cooked. You can really taste the oven. Oh, do you bake it? Oven baked. Oh, so yeah. Mix. I guess if they come out hot, that would be really mm, good. Like yeah, warm. warm. Oh, man. It's great. going to have to it's try amazing. that. going to have to come to your house on Christmas. Put a little Worcestershire on it. Oh, yeah. A little salt and pepper. <coughs> I don't know what else goes on. Sounds there. like something I could get into. It is good. Today I uh I try, I had for a snack I had some baba ganoush. Mm. Ah, baba ganoush. Is that yeah, good? Yeah, baba ganoush. I'm not it's sure what that is. I've heard of it. It's like some Mediterranean like it's it's not hummus but it's uh it's hummus esque. Wow. It's kind of yeah. like hummus. It's as eggplant and some. Uh, I wish all foods were hummus esque. Me too. Hummus is very good. That's another good snack food. I um, when I think of baba ganoush, I've never tried it. When I think of it, um, I think of that comedy bang bang episode. Oh yeah. Where like. I forget, I forget what they even say. They were playing like a game. Yeah. And they just <coughs> bobbing Yeah. That's the time I heard of it. Classic. Cheetos. What do you guys oh. think about Cheetos? I like, um, I you know, the one, the small ones are fine. Regular Cheetos. But the big puff Cheetos. Yeah? Oh, my god! I had some of those earlier today, in this, fact. Oh, so good. Those it, things are um, great. Quality. You guys had the jalapeno and the Cheetos and the spicy hot Cheetos. Hot red. Yeah, red they're hot, pretty good. Red hot Cheetos. Those are my favorite kinds of Cheetos. Um, yeah, you like spicy stuff. Um, Nick's, a, Nick's yeah. a, not a hot food guy. He's a hot food guy. Um, no, the it's yeah, true. like I I can eat like one or two of a hot food, but you know, the thing about I, Cheetos, I don't really just like eating them. The thing about Cheetos, when you're done munching on Cheetos, you've got a nice after treat on your fingers. That's true, yeah. Pick up the dust. Yeah, that's kind of the same with uh, Doritos. Yeah. You, know? you got the dust. That's true. It's little... It's not angel dust. It'd be kind of nice. It'd be kind of nice if they just sold the the powder. The, the powder, or, or the not the the what's the seasoning. Like yeah, you could so just you can buy like put it on popcorn or something. I've put heard on popcorn. Of, yeah. I've heard of people flavoring stuff drinks. with like they'll crush up um, Cheetos and like flavor something with it. Make like a. I've heard of that. A cocktail, um, a Cheetos that cocktail. That would be good. What about like you could smash up a bunch of Doritos and coat chicken wings in them. Oh man. Nick. That would be good. What? Well, I mean, you like spicy. Yeah. Nice. You like spicy chicken wings, uh, Nick? Yeah. How would you feel about, like, chicken wings, but, like, they're spicy because they're coated with the spicy uh, I'd, lo- I'd love that. Cheetos. Oh yeah. Let's that do would that. Be good. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should we should, we should start cooking on the show. <laughs> we should. All right. We could, we could start cooking. I'm not a good cook. I can make, like... I can heat up hot dogs. I can make ramen noodles. Oh, ramen, nice. ramen. I can yes. make ramen. That's a good snack. And it's food. cheap. It's like thirty snack, cents. Snack like a meal. It's ramen is great. Meal. Ramen is good. Did you about that girl who uh, only ate ramen? She's no. like an eighteen-year-old girl. She's probably fat. That's all. No, she's like skinny. But really, like, ramen. Apparently, she ramen's has, bad for you. Apparently, she has like the it's health, good, of, but it's health bad. of an eighty-year-old. She's, she's what? She's, she's what? like the health of an eighty-year-old woman. Oh, I can't. That's imagine. bad. Yeah, that's terrible. Like a, like a springy eighty-year-old woman. That's what I'm saying. Like ramen's it's tasty, but it's bad for you. She, I think she can get around still. Yeah, but yeah, it's terrible that's for you. Good. That's really, yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends on the eighty-year-old. Some eighty-year-olds yeah. are not very mobile. Spry. Some, some are spry, spry, but some of them drive still and stuff. So yeah, you know, you never know what that entails yeah. when you say eighty-year-old woman. Yeah. I would think weak, though. Yeah. Especially if she's eighteen. Yeah. That that would be a bad situation. Um, any other snack foods? Um, while we're on this topic. Yeah, I, I what I th- I find kind of underrated in, in, a, in a way mm-hmm. trail mix 
trail yes, mix is good. Uh, a huge trail injury. Uh, a lot of people just pick the uh, pick the M and M's out. I mean, you get you get all you get sweet and you get salty. What else? Right. What else can you want from life? Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like when I eat it, I, oh, what one of my favorite things to do is like get a handful of M and M's and then get a handful of nuts and like eat just those together. It's a perfect combination because it's like yeah, it, it tastes like a, a peanut butter cup. And the texture, yeah, and the texture is just great too. Yeah, you can't go wrong. It is good. I like trail mix. Sometimes I think it's you, underrated. Yeah, sometimes uh, you get spe- there. There are different uh, special trail mixes. That like spicy? Like, uh, are there spicy trail mixes? Well, there are, but they also have like ones with marshmallow, like s'mores. Oh yeah, that's like, like s'mores flavored. Yeah, it's nuts. They have so many. Uh, it's nuts. Well, it's, it's trail <laughs> mi- <laughs> nice. <coughs> Um, yeah, I like, uh, trail mix. Um, we've talked about the, like, one of my favorite, like, things when it comes to, like, chips and stuff is, like, really, like, crappy off brands. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I love it. It's like, um. Munchos. Like, what? Munchos. Yeah, like, munchos. It's, like, only $2, it says on the bag. That's great. And they're actually good. Yeah. You can get some good stuff. I can get into that. Yeah. Pringles, too. Oh, Pringles. Pringles. Why do we not talk about Pringles, Pringles are quality. Pringles are great. Um, I'm trying to think of like, we've talked about the the chip aspect. Like, mm-hmm. what about like cakes? Cake, like, cake, ti- cake style. Foods. Like like cake types, yeah. Cake or types. like it, this could include like honey buns or like Oreos, cookies. You know, dessert. We're doing desserts here. Dessert. Oreos. I Snack mean, food desserts, right? Just Snack clarifying. Food desserts, okay. Yeah. Or desserts in general. You can just Oreos. You Oreos are not only milk's um, favorite best friend. Whatever. Or my best. Oh man, friend. Oreos are great, and there's so many types. There are. You know, like I had. I have watermelon. Um, but I haven't Oreos. tried those. I know they exist. It's it's the oddest thing. They taste like watermelon um, Jolly Ranchers. Really? Kind okay. of. I could but, get into that in, in a in a cookie. Hmm. It's odd. That's weird. Yes. I could get into that. That sounds good. Um, have, you ever, have you guys had Oreo ice cream? Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Oreo so good. Milkshakes. Oh yeah, ice cream. That's it, under this under this umbrella yeah, as well. It's like a golden Oreo ice cream and oh, golden Oreos and regular cream. regular Oreo ice cream. Nice. One thing nice. that I liked, um, that like, I think, um, who makes who makes Oreo? Um, Nabisco. I think so. One yeah. thing that I liked, I think Nabisco viewed it as kind of a failure because it didn't sell well, but <coughs> I thought they were great Oreo cakesters. I liked, yeah, I liked Did you those. ever have yeah. those? Not many people yeah. liked them. I did thought they, they were great. They, they don't I mean, make like them the, anymore, right? I don't I think, think they, they do. like, individual, like, duo packs or something like that. Like Maybe. I think I've had one Like, double stuffed yeah. <laughs> Oreo Cakesters. <laughs> I don't know about that. But Oreo Cakesters, man. I think they should all be double <laughs> stuffed, in my opinion. Why yeah. did they make original? Why yeah, that's true. Why are they all true. double stuffed? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I know some people like the cookies, but... It's yeah, I, I think I, they, they, should, they could just put. They could make them double stuffed and not call them double stuffed. And that's what I'm I don't saying. think anyone they would really just, care that much. Like They'd that be like, already. Well, they could make them double stuffed, and then the double stuffed yeah, could be like yeah. quadruple stuffed. Exactly. <laughs> like, just like uh, a thick Oreo. That'd be great. That'd be, great. That'd be, that'd be good. The greatest thing. Um, I guess Little Debbie makes really good stuff. Yeah, you got your ding dongs. You got your ho hos. Yeah, and you got your Twinkies. Devil cakes. All the uh, good I like stuff. one thing I really like that Little Debbie makes is star crunches. I don't think I've had those. Yeah, had, oh my so. gosh, God. Star Crunches are incredible. Have you guys been to the Little Debbie shop? There was yeah, I uh, no. that place is sweet. I think it's in Draft, really? isn't it? Yeah, there's one in Draft. I mean, it's like a chain of places. It's like it's like Little Debbie's, but they're all discounted. Whoa. Yeah, they're all cheap. I haven't been there in years. I don't know that I've been to the one in Draft, but I've been to one I've been before. Been to one in Draft, and I, like when I was a kid, but I haven't been in years. Oh man, those things are sweet. Well, I mean, it's like next to the factory. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Little Debbie. Yeah. Have you guys had co- Star Crunches, though. Cosmic br- uh, Brownies? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good. Those those the, are, uh, the rainbow. Those are, yeah. Those yeah. things, they take me back rainbow to, sprinkles. to nice probably cheap. around 0- 03, 02. Okay. 01. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Somewhere, somewhere around that. Yeah. I like um, the, um, what are the pies called? The oatmeal cream pies. Oh, oh man. Good. Th- I those, are those are good, yeah. Those are good. I can't um, remember. What are the other ones? The um Swiss cake rolls? Are they actually made in Switzerland? I wish. That's, that's the question. I don't know. Are they imported from I think, Swiss? I think they're just made in the Little Debbie factory. <laughs> those yeah. are good. Um, the uh, Nutty Buddy bars. Those are good. Those are good. They have a lot of good ones. And then there's Twinkies. That's not made by Little it's Debbie. Hostess, I think. Yeah, it's Hostess. Hostess Little Hostess Debbie does sure. their own version. It's like called like Cloud Cakes or something. Yeah. But no, you can't. Hostess, be Hostess has their share of. of uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too. They. Uh, what? What are the cupcakes called? Are they just I think called Hostess called cupcakes? cupcakes? I think they are just called cupcakes. Yeah, they're good. Fun fact about Little Debbie: Did you know she was a lesbian? Really? Did you know that, Nick? Um, I feel like I've I've heard that somewhere. Yeah, my my granddad told me that. 
Hmm. Um, apparently, like, she was, like, when she was a teenager or whatever. And then, like, you know, obviously her dad named the company after her. And he said that, like, he wasn't going to leave it to her unless she was straight. So <laughs> she turned straight so she could have billions of dollars. Fantastic. He told me that one time. That's, that's a cool story. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, not a lot of people know that. It's an interesting <laughs> tidbit in history. Um, yeah, um, what else? What other snacks are there? I don't I guess cereal. Would you count cereal? Cereals. I, I don't eat. I don't eat cereal like for breakfast. I eat it. Yeah, I eat it. Yeah, I eat it a lot just like during the like day. During movies or just like oh, when yeah. it's just around. For sure. I guess movies, popcorn. Uh, popcorn is a quality Popcorn's snack. really good. But um, yeah, cereal. I really like cereal a lot. Like cereal. What are your favorite cereals? <laughs> Anybody? Um, but, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's a good one. Mm, that Co- is a good one. Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa one thing, Puffs. one of my favorite things Love about cereal Puffs. is the milk afterwards. Uh, you me drink too. it. Me too. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, especially like... um. Cocoa Puffs, you drink it, and it's just like chocolate milk. Oh, I just had, I just had, um, I think it's 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 new, um, it's Apple Jacks, but with marshmallows. Oh, and it's it's really good. It's kind of a crossover between Lucky Charms and yeah. Apple Jacks. The mush, the marshmallows are just great. It's just it's just like little white ones, but oh, you yeah. know, it adds a lot. To oh yeah, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks, I kind of like, I like, but then they're kind of like, you know, yeah. It's not something I want every day, but yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's good. You know? I'm trying to what one that's really subtle, but it's good. Life, life is life yes. is good. <laughs> Cinnamon life. life is good, but it's really subtle because it's not like crazy, <laughs> like <laughs> very good. You know what I mean? Right. It's just subtle. It's, it's like, something you. Yeah. This is a good cereal. Uh, um, uh, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops are good. I like Fruit Loops. I like Fruity Pebbles. I've been eating Fruity a lot Pebbles. Of yeah, they're all right, but they're not like I wouldn't say they're the best out of all of them. Um. Something here's a little uh when I was a kid I remember like you know those like little in, like the small boxes they used to, oh, yeah, they, used yeah. to like, <laughs> they would sell in a package right. and they just had several small boxes. I remember my grandmother would get those and um a different grandmother from the the one I mentioned earlier. Oh, okay. But she would get those like sometimes and we would go down and like Whoever was up first would, would try to steal the chocolate ones. You know, oh, yeah. Little yeah. When we were kids. Yeah, those are good. I, I like them so much boxes. anymore. But yeah. um, I don't know. There's the little boxes. I guess while we're on the topic of um, of breakfast, like junk food, mm-hmm. like Pop-Tarts. You like Pop-Tarts? I do. I love Pop-Tarts. Yeah, Pop-Tarts are great. I feel like they're overrated. Oh, really? I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say No, it. that's fine. No, let's you hear, gotta, let's hear your reason. We want your honest Please opinion. Justify. I just think that... Uh, they they don't have a whole lot of flavor, really. But maybe that's just because I don't I tend not to heat them up. Oh yeah, I mean, you gotta I, heat them up. They're good, not heated up, but they're better. Heat you have to up, heat them up. Sure. I think. Yeah. If you oh, once yeah. you heat them up, they taste better. The um, I don't know the exact name of it, but there's like a chocolate sundae one that's just really good. Oh yeah, I remember one time like I was at your house and like I think Daniel was there, and it was like two or three in the morning, and we just like got like all the pop tarts yeah, you had I and just sampled that. them. Like we were playing, yeah. When we were playing, um, um, cards, cards against me. Yeah, there were like four different flavors, four or five different flavors, and we just sampled them. Daniel's a big pop tart guy. Pop tarts are good. Yeah, and I don't have them often, so like when I get them, they're good. Yeah, um, toaster strudels. Oh yeah, toaster strudels. I kind of like those. I feel like those are kind of underrated. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor of pop tart? Um, the um. The one I just mentioned, the um, like the Sunday one, those are really good. Mm-hmm. Those and um, the brown sugar, brown sugar cinnamon, classic. Great. That's one, one of, of the best, originals, yeah. and like the blueberry. I, I kind of like the fruity ones. Yeah, the fruity more ones. of a chocolatey guy. I think the um, chocolate chips kind of good. Oh yeah, there's a chocolate yeah. chip one. It's just kind of like a cookie. Oh yeah, what you working on, Nick? I was just contemplating to see if we should do uh, an on-air phone call. We could do that. Who do you should. want to call? We I keep, don't we keep, really have anyone in mind. I, I keep just, suggesting that, but we haven't. Yeah, We've just, done it once was, on the first episode. Yeah, I was thinking. We, we did we it. We called Daniel. We could call Daniel. Yeah. We call well, Daniel. No, he's he's playing a soccer game, actually. Oh, uh, really? Um, yeah. You guys have been keeping up with the World Cup? Uh, I watched a little bit of it. I don't care, I honestly. Don't I don't care. But, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I don't hey, care soccer. at all. Soccer. Uh, soccer. Hey. Man, we spent a long time on your topic, Noah. Thank you. It was a good topic. It was, it was a very good topic. I loved it. Uh, Nick, you got a topic. Yes. Okay, let's hear it. Before I left uh, for this pod to come here, mm-hmm. I was watching uh, CNN. Okay. Hillary, nice. Hillary Clinton. Nice. Okay. 
talking about um, just about our platform, basically. Yeah. What do you guys think of Hillary Clinton? I'm not a fan, but I do honestly believe she's going to be the next president of the Hillary United Rod States. Ham. Yeah. Okay, Hillary Rodham. Yeah, I think she probably will be. Honestly, like I, I kind of think that's there's no getting around that. I feel like that's a fact. She is going to be the next president of the United States. Yeah, that's re- that's really all I had to say about her. And also, I want to talk about Tony Hawk video games. Okay. Tony Hawk, dude. <laughs> Two topics. I He's like it. He's old. He I, is old. He's I like saw, 50. I saw him on TV the other day, and it kind of like I. It kind of made me feel old. Not, but his games I'm are not classic. saying like. Oh yeah, I know. I played his games when I was like, you know. Yeah. Ten. But he's just like he's an old That's dude. Seven now. years ago. Those are the best games. Not they're great. Oh yeah, those games are sweet. You can't go wrong games. with the good skateboarding, Tony Hawk. Yeah, I always played game. a Spider Man. Spider Man was unlockable. In the that was I had. awesome. And sweet, play Spider Man. Except I didn't like Spider Man because he didn't bleed. It was cool when they bled. <laughs> yeah. Spider Man didn't bleed because he's wearing a full suit. I guess yeah. it's not realistic that he would bleed. Yeah, those are my favorite. I games. think that was one of the first games I played that had blood in it when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. Like I, my mom always made me turn the rap music off because <laughs> she, because they cursed in it. Yeah. So. That's not, that's not good. It's some pretty cool pretty songs good. in some of the games. Yeah, but, but you know, and then she wasn't around. I would turn it off. You know. <laughs> thug, I'm a thug. Um, but yeah, those games are great, man. Yeah. yeah. Tony Hawk. Th- Tony Hawk Three. So I had two for the PS1. GameCube, Tony Hawk 3. Nice, nice. nice. Check GameCube. it out. It's a good system. Yeah, the GameCube's awesome. What are some of your some of your favorite GameCube games? GameCube controller Melee. just announced. Melee there's, 2. There's an adapter for the <laughs> Melee 2. No, no, no. <laughs> as, as well. As well. Uh, Melee is. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Um, Eats the dick. <laughs> Come on. Nick. Nah, Mario Party 4. Okay. Mario Party 10, did you hear about that? I heard about that. I got announced. It looks really dumb. What the heck? It looks weird. I thought they were done with that. Mario Party is it's an example of something that used to be cool. It's a shell of a game, yeah. <laughs> honestly. Like, the the original, like, the 64 ones and, like Nick said, a few of the GameCube ones were awesome. I mean, they're fun. Like No, 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 no. Wrong, like, nine, 9 was so bad for the Wii. I didn't play nine. Oh my I played gosh. eight, and it was it was decent. Like I'm not eight? saying I was that the Wii too. Yeah, that might be the one I'm thinking of. Really, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> the the nine Wii was probably the Wii. Wii. Maybe it might be nine, but like I think like IGN gave the most recent one like a five. <laughs> like I mean, they're not. It's, they're, just it's too not much. I don't like. There's too long. Well, it's yeah, and it's one of these things like the it's the, they haven't changed the formula at all. Yeah, you know what right, I mean? Like right. Mario Kart, the formula never gets old. Right. You know, and they did change the formula. They you know, now there's parasails yeah. and zero gravity. Yeah. But like Mario Party, <laughs> it gets old very like, fast. I wish Mario Party was more of an open world game where you could like move from your space and just kind of like explore the different <laughs> yeah. courses. That would be kind of like That'd a nice feature, but Yeah. I mean, turn um, it into an RPG series. <laughs> I mean, Super Mario Party RPG. You've got you've got video you've you've got video games which are amazing. You've got board games which, you know, they're great. Damn. But you don't mix. You don't mix the two. Exactly. They're, it's a weird crossover. Names for, for Crossovers are weird. What are I can't even think of like a good crossover. You know what I mean? Like crossovers usually are horrible. Yeah. Because they spend like the majority of the story explaining how the crossover could happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know it's a horrible crossover that I've heard of happening. What? Recently, The Simpsons and Family Guy. Really? That doesn't It's not, happening. That's not funny. Th- and there's going to be two episodes. Gonna be there's going to be two episodes. There's going to be an episode where um, the Family Guy cast is in uh, Springfield, and there's going to be an episode where the Springfield cast is in Quahog. Oh, that's lame. So there's two different... That's lame. Yeah, I don't know. I, I saw a screenshot, like Bart and Stewie were skateboarding together. I think uh, Family Guy should get canceled because it's a really lame show. <laughs> it's been good in the past, but yeah, now season it's... Five? It's, it's not. Season. It's not good now. Bird is the word. That's all I can say. <laughs> nice. Classic reference to Family Guy. Um, I'll tell you a, a crossover that I really liked, um, cause there aren't really any good ones, but, um, He-Man versus He-Man and the Masters of the Universe versus the DC Universe. Dude. It was a comic that, that happened. Awesome. It was sweet, actually. I really dug it. Um, but crossovers, you know. I know one good crossover. Okay. Let's hear it. Um, it's, it's a Super Nintendo game. I know I might know it oh, better than I Oh, I, I think do, I know I think where I you're forgot. going. It's, um. Battle two, it's crossover with um. Oh yeah, I want I want to hear you say it. I don't. Double know. dragon. Double dragon. Nice. Oh yeah, that was I. Yeah, you drew a had a brain fart there. Yeah, I did. Sorry. No, you're good. Um, but yeah, that was a good crossover. Good crossover. Actually. Yeah, there. But you know, 
I can't. I guess. Ma- like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. <laughs> That's a horrible crossover. Right. I remember I bought it and I. Uh, and it I looked fun it when it got announced. I mean, if, if you consider Smash Bros. a crossover, that's I, yeah, Smash Bros. Oh, is yeah. a best crossover, crossover, I guess, because it's all the Nintendo it's world. The best crossover in the window. That is a very, very good crossover. That's true. Wasn't there like um, like some sort of crossover they did with like That's a Raven and like <laughs> the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody or something? Maybe. I uh, guess yeah. there was a spinoff like Cory in the house, <laughs> yeah, and Corey. he lives in the White House. That's another, like, s- spinoffs are usually horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't think of um, some great spinoffs. I guess um, Check It Out with Dr. Steve Rule. Check It Out. I great, see, great spinoff. Great spinoff stuff. of Tim and Eric's awesome show. Great job, The, Je- the Jeffersons. Uh, nah. It's a spinoff that I don't, I, I don't like it, I don't honestly. Know, I don't know much about it. Yeah, really. I've watched it a few times. So I, don't, I love uh, All in the Family, though. All the Speaking family. of All in the Family, I went mm-hmm. to D.C. recently. Uh-huh. I went to the American History Museum, saw Archie Bunker's chair. Oh, wow. So good. It's a great chair. Yeah, and it, I love. It I looked, like that show a it lot. Looked used, definitely. That show was really like controversial. I've been told time. that I resemble Archie Bunker, and I don't know why. Really? No, I, I don't, don't see it. it. He's you know he's an elderly man. Yeah. No, just like and my you're not um, an elderly man. Like my mannerisms, the, like the way I walk or something. No, I, don't I don't see it. No, you resemble your dad. I don't dad. think so. I don't think I. I mean, I think I resemble my dad. Yeah, but you not, talk like your dad. Not Archie Bunker. I don't know who you are. Tell me this, but yeah, I think you just told stop. you that. Let's go there. People, people, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't think you were in Archie Bunker, but yeah, that show in its time was so controversial. Like that was like the first like kind of like offensive comedy, you know, like show. You know what I mean? Because like at, at that time, like the like sitcoms and stuff weren't really edgy. That yeah. show was edgy. Yeah, for its time, I guess that and like Sanford and Son. I wish I could be one. This two shows. The first to be edgy on something. It's, yeah, it seems like shows are getting edgier and edgier, mm-hmm. and I'm. It might come to a point where it's just like outright terrible. There yeah. are like for like, sure. Yeah. I've heard um, I agree. discussion about this. Like, like, do you think like sometime in the future there's gonna be like, like murders and stuff, just like regular on like TV or something, just like something? Maybe they're kind of are really now. terrible. Not real murder. I mean. Well, no, not real murder. Like oh, real I murder. see what you're saying. There was a uh, Doctor Who episode about that. Did you ever see that episode? Really? No, yeah, it was like an episode, and it was like, um, he was like on a game show, and you know everyone was freaking out about losing, and he was just like, because he just, you know, he drops in, he's Doctor Who, and he was just like, well, it's not a big deal if I lose. Why does it matter? And they're like, you, you seriously don't know what happens if you lose? And like, it was like a game show, like one of those reality shows where people live in a house together, and if you get kicked out, you like they killed you. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy, and it was like every show. It, it was, like, a dy- dystopian future where, like, every show had turned into that. Like, there was a game show and, like, like a, a game show. And, like, if you lost, they killed you. So, like, wow. every single show, like, if you lost, yeah, I mean, they like, just killed you. Like, morals have, are getting looser and looser. Yeah. And, like, there was a time when he couldn't say, like, any swear words or Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that. Well, that's, like, our, uh, All in the Family, that was, like, one of the very first shows to, like, swear. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they would say just – they would just drop, like, GD and stuff. Like, it was it was a big – a big step. I wonder I how much farther it I don't know which go, direction you know. the step it was. But. I also think, I mean, I don't think that cussing on TV is a good idea, but I think it's crazy how you can, like, say, like, all this, like, terrible sexual stuff on TV, but at the right. same time they, like, like censor, like, certain words. Yeah, that's true. That, you know. I see what you're saying. Like, they censor, like, the yeah. S word, yeah. but then, like, you can, like, say, like, Anything. describe yeah, I've like seen something some, that's, like, like, super some, some entendres and kids shows that are are pretty. Funny. Oh yeah, some shows like some Insane shows are filthy. That I can't believe they get past. Oh, I know. Like I, I think of there was an episode of Victorious I saw, and it was like she like passed out in like the janitor's closet or something. I forget the context of it. But then the janitor like walked in and was like, "What?" And then like the principal walked in like right after the janitor and he was like, oh, "Again?" You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, like he had I saw a girl passed exactly out. Exactly like his, that. That's really bad for um, like a TV like PG yeah. show. It was like a, it was like a Christmas. I don't remember what the show was, but it was it was one of those Disney shows. It was like a Christmas themed one. Mm-hmm. And like there was a kid, like the I think it was a crossover actually, because mm-hmm. they do those a lot on Disney. Yeah, they do. And um, I think like it was like there was a kid, like there's like a young boy staying with like an older mm-hmm. girl or something, and like she woke up in the morning and like she had wrapping paper on her and she said, "Who tried to wrap me oh, last night?" Oh, come like, on. Oh. So, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I guess it it kind of has its place. I guess in like. You know, if it's an adult show and it's rated like TV mature, fine. 
But don't put that in like yeah, a I know. Free I mean, kid show. I've, like I think if I were um, a writer for a kid show, I would definitely do that. Like, oh yeah, like entendres. Try and stuff. to put entendres. But it, just, it doesn't seem right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Thoughts, Nick? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I I I like wholesome TV shows, like mm. like little kid shows. Like have you guys seen Little Bear? Oh, Little yeah. Bear's good, classic. Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. I I've noticed that kids TV shows now are really loud and distracting. Like like yeah. There's a lot of screaming and a lot of bright lights. That's what. But I like TV shows. Like. Yeah, it's seriously because they can't. They don't have any attention span. Yeah. Literally, like. Well, I guess like I heard like a study that like kids that watch spongebob like i watch spongebob and i have a horrible attention span but kids that like watch spongebob like have a worse attention span than kids that don't but they have a pretty good sense of humor yeah that's yeah, true, true. <laughs> so you could you could get something out of yeah. that i mean i could see that spongebob's really like yeah. i love spongebob but. Uh, remember the flats episode uh, ah yeah. the what flats <laughs> oh yeah yeah that was a great classic <laughs> there's so many good spongebob episodes it's a great show but yeah un- like on tantras man and like in kid Sli- shows, slipping stuff in like that, and conspiracy theories. Oh yeah, conspiracy theories. It's a lot conspiracy of stuff. theories can a lot get of stuff in there. can get pretty crazy. I saw a conspiracy theory recently. Um, you know, at the end of the classic Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Yeah. Um, I saw one, and it was like I saw it this morning. Actually, I was just on the internet, and um, it was at the end where Toad says, "Sorry, Mario, but our princess is in another castle." When they zoomed in on him, his hands are like flicking, <laughs> flicking you off, <laughs> and it was just like it was eight bit, you know. But it That's was hilarious. like, yeah. So I don't know that it might have just been someone that like edited yeah. the footage. But have you guys seen the? I heard the Pokemon conspiracy theory. Which I've one? Heard of something. The one like where like Ash is like in a coma. Oh yeah, dude. That's sweet. I like that a lot I actually. And that. there's like a similar one. Oh, you haven't? I don't think there's like no, a, I, you want to explain it to Noah? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fascinating. There's a similar one like uh. With Adventure Time is like, but like, Adventure Time, I love it. But like, Ash is like in a coma, and like, the first Pokemon he sees resemble like real animals in real life. Mm. Like, they're like horses, horse Pokemon, and uh-huh. like stuff like that. But like, the longer he's in it, the more detached from reality huh. he gets. So that's why the Pokemon get like weirder and weirder. And no, yeah, that's look it up. F- it's that's a good theory. Well, it's fascinating. There's too, more because, to it, though. Well, in the first episode, like, um, he gets he gets zapped by a Zapdos, right? Right. And um, so that's crazy in itself that you know he sees a legendary on his like his first day as a yeah. as a uh, trainer, but um, like it's it's and so they say he gets zapped by the Zapdos and he's in a coma for the rest of the series, huh. and it's fascinating because like it says that like each um aspect of the Pokemon like um canon is like part of him like. Um, oh yeah, Jesse and James, Team Rocket. They're like parts of their evil, it's like right? S- subconscious. Well, they're like his subconscious that he's deemed wrong because, like, everyone says James is gay. So, like, <laughs> they say he has like suppressed homosexuality, and like he's even though like it's part of him, he's deemed it wrong. Wow. So, like, Je- James is 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 an ev- is evil, and that's why he acts gay. And it's it's fascinating. Like they say that like Misty is like his first like is, like, his sexuality because, like, it's his first, like, love. But, like, he's 11, so it's, she's really juvenile yeah. because, like, he hasn't, like, developed a full, like, you know what I mean? He hasn't developed, like, a full, like, preferences and stuff. It's yeah. it's very fascinating. It's a, it's an article you can read. That's search like cool theory. Search Pokemon Coma Theory. Like, I'm, I'm butchering it, but, like, you can look it up, and it's fascinating. There's they have, some, like, amazing... Um, well, it was, like, a college paper. Oh really? And well, like, yeah, yeah, and like, you can read the paper, and it, it's really fascinating. I mean, there's some amazing theories, and there's some like really just stupid ones that like, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, yeah, whatever. Like, well, they say too that like, his dad, like, like you know, Giovanni is his dad. Mm-hmm. So they say like his dad's like he, you don't see his dad in the show other than like Giovanni. So like he never knew his dad, and oh, like yeah. it's like a really mysterious like kind of evil huh. presence because he never knew him. It's fascinating. It really is. Um, yeah, conspiracy theories are good. We're at the 45-minute mark. You want to play a game? We should play a game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. Give us an intro for the game, then we'll figure out what we're going to play.
right. That was a good intro with the Nick. Thank Thanks. you. Um, we got a game. What game do you guys want to play? There's a lot of options. Um, what game do you? Um. Any game? I mean, last time we did twenty questions. Last time it was just me and Noah, but we did questions was fun. We did twenty questions, and that was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. Three player game, I think. Three player. We could. Um, Yeah, we do twenty questions with three players for sure. I say we play two games. Okay. Start with twenty questions. I'm down. Yeah, we'll start with twenty questions. Um, who wants to start with thinking of something? You want to start, Nick, since you haven't done it yet. Um. Yes. Okay. So think of anything. Okay. And then yeah, because Noah and I did one last time. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, I guess we'll do 20 questions between me and Noah. That way we get 10 each. Yeah, yeah. And it's sense. not kind of unfair, because right. that would be 40 if we each got 20. Yeah. Um. So I'll start off. Is it a human? No. No. Okay, Noah. Is it, um, is it, uh, is it an animal? No. Um, is it living? No. No, okay. Which is what we should have started with. Yeah, actually, yeah, that was bad. Um. Shoddy. Is it like a household object? No. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, wait, I take that back. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe a household object? You know, there's like yes, no. Like it could be, yeah. Could be. Okay. Hmm. Is it consumable? Can you eat it? No. No. Okay. Is it small? Um, relative, yeah, ish, ish. It's not, it's not compared to, um, like, does it fit in your hand that or compared to that, uh, dragon over there compared to that boom box. Okay. It's, um, smaller, Hmm. smaller than a boom box. Okay. Hmm. I I have to think. I have to, you know. Can we get a background beat? Oh, yeah. I like that. Kind of helps the... Yeah, it helps the awkward silence. And the thoughts. Yeah, the thoughts. Hmm. Is it something that you would use, like, in your everyday life? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. That's four for me. Oh, I would say not necessarily. Oh, okay. Alright, so my fourth. Um, hmm. Is it something that like a man would use more often than a woman? Hmm. No. Okay. So I guess we have four each now. Yeah. Point? So okay. far. So eight. We're not off to a very good. Um, no, we're not. <laughs> I have. I still have no idea. Um. <laughs> I like that. It's good background music. It's good. Just something like that. Um, that might be trademarked. I don't know if we can do it. Um. Man, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I don't know what else there is. Should I give it away? Do you want to concede, Noah? Nick's good at this game, I guess. I guess so. I think we lose. It's a VHS. Oh, snap. Come on. That's true, because you wouldn't see it in like an everyday household now. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. But, you know, if, if I had asked that in like give the him. 90s, uh, I'd say, yeah. Uh, we yeah. would see it. You, gotcha. Would say yes. You would see that in the household. And you wouldn't use it every day. Yeah. You might. You might. might. Depends. On, <laughs> depends who. If you love movies. Um, That's pretty good. Oh, no. Do, what's yeah. your other game idea? That was a good one. That's um, a very good one. Well, we could uh, do this story. We could tell a story, or we could, um, uh, what was uh, the like question? Like the categories idea. That's the categories? Cool. You yeah. want to play that? Categories? All right. Categories. I'm fine with that. So basically, one of whoever starts will we'll name a category, and we'll go and person that names the category says an example of the category we go around the room each say an example the last person's example is the next the, the i guess the first letter of the last person's example is the first letter of the next person's category this is very similar to a game we played it is on 
Episode three or four. Three. It was just me and Noah. Okay, Noah does. It was just me and Noah, but it was it was a game with celebrities and we it's the same game but Pretty with celebrities. Game. Yeah, I like it. It's a good game. So who wants to start? Anybody? New takers? Noah, you wanna start? I can start. Um we'll get Noah to start. Video games and a an example, God of War. Okay, so um, hmm, a, a, a W. No, I don't think I don't think your example has to start with. Oh, that's me. Oh, do I do an example? Yeah, we just say random examples, and then the and last, then Nick does the last one. The last one determines the next. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what the point is. I just this is what I like. Okay, Super Mario Brothers, Mega Man. Right. So, so you, you so do you say one that your starts topic, with an M? Your topic. Uh, your oh my topic your, starts with an M. Your category. My yeah. category starts with an Whatever. M. Starts Music. With an M. Okay. And my example is the Who. Beach Boys. Um, I'm trying to think of like a rough, a hard one. Okay, this is pretty different actually. Radiohead. Radiohead. So Nick, your c- t- category has to start with R. See, this is how you win or lose. Like, or no, his category starts with H, doesn't it? Right, radio, radiohead. I thought it was the last le- last word though. Head. It's one word, radiohead. Okay. <laughs> Rappers. All right. Um. So, what's your example? I'm gonna go with uh, Wiz Khalifa. Um. Chang Smith. Chang Smith is a good rapper. And I'm gonna give a go. Let's see. A lot of choices. Ice Cube. <laughs> Ice Cube. Okay. Great nice. rapper. All right, so um, wait, is that my topic then, or my category now? I'll just do a category since you just said one. I, okay. Um, starts with I. I? Yeah. I, is Ice Cube one word? I don't know. I guess then C. Either way. Either way. Yeah, I guess it would be C. Okay. Um, first word of the last, first letter of the last word. All right. Um. Consumables like mm-hmm. food. Okay. <laughs> nice. You like that? I do like that. And my example is pizza. Um, popcorn. Hmm. Any food? Oh, do I need a food? Yeah. So the uh, cheese have. danishes. Cheese Ooh, danishes. Nice. So I guess so D. D. Yeah. Um. So category that starts with D. Dancers. Don't help it. No. A uh, dancers. Okay. What's your example? Ah, oh, dang. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> Um, dancers. What dancers are there? Shouldn't have done one. It would be this difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Because <coughs> I don't, I don't follow dance very well. Um, I, I, I know a dancer. I know, I, I know one, but I don't know if I should say it. What? No. Um. What were you gonna say? Come on. <laughs> That's a good dancer. Who are who? You who can dances. Do. Who dances? Um. <laughs> oh man. Little dancing man. Little dancing man. <laughs> Bro, uh, Jeez Louise. Louise. Does this mean I lose? If I, I think it means you long? lose. Who were you gonna say? I was gonna say Mrs. McLean's daughter. Oh was, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Amber Daisy. Yeah, that's a good Remember one. her? She. I. I don't know if she still dances, <laughs> but that's she did dance. That's rough. I remember her dancing. No, well played though. That's a good game. I like that. You wanna play another round? I Maybe. Think we should. Now that we know the formula. I like that game a lot. Yeah, yeah. Round two. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, I'll start. Just start us off. Um, sports teams, uh, the Redskins. Dolphins. Hmm. The Eagles. Eagles, okay. Who starts? And then do I? Yeah, start E. Uh, emo bands. Ooh, <laughs> wow. All right. Can I do that? What's your yeah. yeah, what's your example? I'm going to go with uh, pr- uh Fall Out Boy. Mm. Does my that my count? My Chemical Romance. Okay, um who sings I'll Follow You Into the Dark? Death Cab for Cutie. Okay. Death Cab for Cutie. I've they're heard that they are actually their early stuff is actually considered emo, but I don't yeah. know. They're emo, aren't they? Like I'll Follow You Into the Dark. That about, song like, is kind of suicide, well, isn't it? Not really. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's We'll about go with it. That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough. Okay, um, give us a topic. So my huh? topic, yeah. Death Cab for Cuties. I guess C. Let's start with C. Yeah. 
Um, cartridge games. Oh wow, that's a good one. What's your example? Um, Super Smash Bros. for the sixty-four. Okay. The Legends of Zelda: The Minish Cap. Nice. Yoshi's Story for an N sixty-four. Okay. So I guess S. So, uh, yeah, S. It's mine, I guess. Since yeah. it went Nick, you yeah, yeah. so S. Um. <laughs> Celebrities, uh, yeah. I don't see why not. Um, no, <laughs> that doesn't start with an S. Um, <sighs> sensations, <laughs> like what's a sensation oh, yeah, that okay. you enjoy? Okay, my I, I'll say joy. Nice, yeah, joyful, Maybe happiness. Probably uh, happiness. It doesn't have to be one you enjoy. You can't oh, say. Oh, one. oh, just oh, okay. Any, yeah, I, anyone, it doesn't uh, have to be one you enjoy. Suspicion. Adrenaline. Oh, adrenaline. Okay, so Nick, topic um, with an A. Adam's family characters. Mm. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it's not much of a category. Well. <laughs> there's, there's enough characters. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> What's your example? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams? Wednesday. What, oh, yeah. What are they? Tuesday? Isn't that one of them? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> what are they? I win. <laughs> I was going to say Herman Munster, but he's from the Munsters. Oh, yeah. He's not... Um, what's the granddad's name? Oh, there's that like thing. It's oh, not yeah. the thing. Oh yeah, the or uh, cousin it. Good one. Okay, cousin it. All right, <laughs> I'm in. All right, Noah. Yeah, it close. starts with an I. <laughs> close call there. <laughs> it was a close call. Institutions. See, but is it is cousin it in the monsters? I forget. I don't know. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll let it slide. I don't subscribe to either of those. <laughs> I've seen enough that I should. Institutions. Know. Um. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Arkham Asylum. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. I like that a lot. Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. <laughs> um, it could be any institution, any school. It's the, the school um, on Zoe 101. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, uh, Garden Park's high. That's uh, that's the Power Rangers. Um, wait, 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 wait. wait. What are they, what are it's like SP Southern P- PCA. 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 I didn't know that. was <laughs> terrible. It's a good show. So PCA, a what do, show. do I say A, a yeah. again? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, Pacific Kids Academy. Wait, PCA, yeah. Yeah, I guess Pacific Kids Academy. No, C. <laughs> what? Is it C? PCA. Well, Pacific Children's Academy. <laughs> maybe. Pacific Coast. <laughs> but it's a high school. Yeah, Pacific Coast Academy. Maybe. Oh, oh, that probably know. is it. I'll look it up later. I'm, I'm burning time. I can't think of it. I'll write it in the comments. <laughs> um... All in the family character. <laughs> okay. Are you kidding That's me? So cheap. Going with Archie Bunker. Archie right, Bunker. Yeah. Nice. I don't know anybody else besides Archie Bunker. The the cu- the uh, son-in-law. I don't know his name. Uh, I guess I lose. this game. I lose again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, That's a good game. No, I I, I cheated a few times, <laughs> but the host doesn't lose. So. Well, we're at an hour. Uh, let's jump into my topic. I think. As you gentlemen know. Nick and Noah, gentlemen, as you gentlemen know, uh, Sunday was Father's Day. Uh-huh. I want to go over some of the best and some of the worst fathers in fiction. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. So, who wants to start us off? I, I'm going to go ahead and start us off, actually. Bowser. Bowser's a horrible father. <laughs> you know, because, like, first of all... Well, for his kids, or... What? Is he bad to his kids, or... He makes them fight Mario all the time. Maybe they want to. He puts them in castles and makes them fight Mario. He makes them uh, race carts. Yeah. No, all actually, eight, that's a good thing. Yeah, all of it. All eight of them. No, but I just imagine like it's his weekend to have the kids, and he's like, "All right, kids, get in the castle. You're gonna, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fight Mario." You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I, don't know. I don't know. You couldn't. You could argue that he's a good father. So I don't know. Um, who else is a bad father? Bad fathers. There's there's some bad uh, ones, but you gotta think about it. Jimmy Neutron's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy Turner's dad. Cute is Neutron. Dad, is that? Timmy Turner's dad is yeah. just kind of dumb. Oh, yeah. They're, they're both terrible dads. They're <laughs> stupid and they don't take care of their kids. Yeah. Obviously. And that's that's um, why they're, they're, they're. And um, also. Homer's uh, a pretty bad dad. Dex- Dexter's. Yeah. Homer dad. Simpson. Dexter's. From lab. Dexter's lab. Dexter's lab is dad. Yeah. <laughs> Dads are. <laughs> what, what do you think of uh, Randy? Randy Marsh. Oh, yeah. He's not great. 
He's, yeah, he's not a great dad. He tries. <laughs> yeah, from South Park. Um, Homer is a pretty bad dad. Yeah, Homer. Homer Simpson. Face. Yeah, he strangles the Bart. He str- he does. He strangles Bart. Peter Griffin's pretty bad dad. Pretty yeah, that's he's, true. Yeah. Um, who who else is really bad? I'm trying to yeah, think. Um, there's some bad ones. Like, uh, there's definitely some horrible ones. Um. Um. Uh, I guess you could argue like any character we don't know their dad. Could any, be any porn star's dad. Yeah, Britney that's not Britney really Spears. Fiction. Is I, it's kind of fiction, I guess. Oh, are we talking fictional? It fiction? could be any any dad. Oh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh yeah, their dad. They don't have a dad. They don't. Oh yeah, there's, there's an episode with their dad. Oh, is he's there? like a rock. Oh yeah, he's like, oh, a, um, yeah. he's like a rock. They star. recently revealed oh, Finn's that. dad on Adventure Time. He was horrible. Yeah. Did you see oh, Finn's yeah. dad? I haven't seen that. Ah, uh, dude, he was bad. He was bad. I don't want to spoil anything because it was a big reveal, but. Finn's dad was not quality. There's good dads too. Can you think of a good dad? Danny Tanner. Who's Best that? dad on TV. <laughs> that is a good one. Um, um, um Tim the Toolman Taylor <laughs> from uh <laughs> from Home Improvement. He was good a good dad. dad. He tried. Alfred. I oh, bro, bro. <laughs> if, if you want to go down that, Alfred. Alfred uh Pennyworth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I I I Father say, figure. or I guess you could say Bruce Wayne's parents are like his Patriot. dad was a bad dad. <laughs> Why do you have to leave? Why do you have to get shot? Um, yeah. Alfred's no, he was a good dad until he got shot. Um, but yeah, Alfred, a good father figure. Patriarch for sure. Yeah, I guess y- if you're gonna go with like p- father figures, like um, Jonathan Kent, Clark Kent's mm-hmm. uh, adopted dad. He's a good guy. Or I guess Jor El, his actual dad too. He's w- great. Yeah. Like yeah, like he saved his son by sending him in a pod, you know. So he's a good dad. Very good dad. Um, oh yeah, um, Cyborg's dad. I forget Cyborg's actual name. You know Cyborg? Yeah. From Teen Titans slash Justice League. Yeah. He's in the Justice he's League in, currently. He's a good dad. He, yeah, dude. He he's a good dad. Like his his um. He's kind of a bad dad and a good dad. Like. He never. He was too obsessed with his work, so he never made it to any of his son's like football games. And his son's like this huge like linebacker, you know. And um, he's too obsessed with his work. But then like they were both trapped in like the lab that was being destroyed, and like um, he was like like the sun was on fire, so he connected his son to the cyborg suit to like save his life. That's why he's the cyborg. Sweet, yeah, I love cyborg. So yeah, he's a good dad. I would say overall, you know, caring dad. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know, Atticus Finch. <laughs> he's a pretty good know, dad. Good dad. Great dad. You think he's a great dad? Yeah. Okay. He's a man of the law. I'll go for that. Yeah, he is. That's true. Very insightful dad. I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of, like, there. there's definitely some more that I'm just not think. You know who was a bad dad? Um, Dr. Dr. Wiley. Oh, yeah. From <laughs> Mega Man. You know, he just builds the robots and, like, <laughs> makes them go after. Like, he's kind of a father. You know, the robots, he built them. <laughs> Who else? Who else? There's, um... Hmm. I'm trying to think of some sitcoms. Yeah, there's sitcoms. Yeah, that's the thing. There's so many, like, video, video games, comics, sitcoms. There's so many options to choose yeah. from. Um, but there's definitely some bad dads. There's definitely some good dads. The, the Office, I'd have to say Jim Halpert. Is that his last name? Oh, he is a good dad. He's a pretty he? good dad. <laughs> yeah, Cece. And I, I guess they have a second kid. I don't know their second kid's name. Yeah. I didn't watch the last two seasons because it was horrible. Went on and on and on. Went on and on and on. Mm. Some good dads um, out there and some bad dads. Unless, unless you can think of any more, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm kind of stuck. You got any more, Nick? No. No? All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for the Paige Campbell Show, Episode 6, Sinister 6. Um, be sure to keep the conversation going on Twitter. I'm at Uncle Paige. Noah's at NoahAiden42? Yes. Yes. Nick doesn't have a Twitter. A-I-D-A-N. Oh, yeah. That's key. Um, I'll put it in the you know description as well. So, um, You know, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, that's how the word gets out, you know, word of mouth. So share with your friends, make sure they know about the podcast you're listening to, the Paige Campbell show. Uh, thanks for listening. Appreciate it. Give us some uh, outro music, Nick.